If you're a real estate agent that needs a personal logo in an instant, but you don't want to hire someone, then this video tutorial is for you because I'm going to show you how to generate a simple logo with ChatGPT and then spice it up with Canva. So if you're ready for some AI magic, then keep on watching. Before we get into the nitty gritty, Disclaimer, I am an agent with eXp Realty and our company fully understands that the real estate agent is the brand. So eXp agents are allowed to build and create a unique personal brand as long as it is evident that you are brokered by eXp Realty. So in other words, just make sure the eXp logo is on all marketing materials, okay? My eXp Realty brothers and sisters, all right? Additionally, with Agent Wolfpack, which is the organization I'm aligned with at um, eXp Realty, if you know, you know, our group focuses on personal branding and creating content and creating systems that attract clients to you. And we teach our partners these skills through the Social Agent Academy and the AI Agent Accelerator, which will put you eons ahead of your local competition and establish you as the go-to real estate agent, obviously in your market. Now, if you wanna learn more about partnering with me at eXp Realty with the Wolfpack, then scan this QR code on screen, or you can find the link in the description box down below. Now, obviously, a personal brand is more than just a logo, but let's be for real. Having a personal logo just makes you that real estate agent and makes you look that much more put together. So to begin, we are going to go straight into ChatGPT. And for rest reference, I have also included the prompt in the description box down below if you want to follow along. One more quick little disclaimer before we begin here. I am using the paid version of ChatGPT. And if you're in real estate, you better be using the paid version of ChatGPT. It's literally only $20 a month and is going to change your business game. Any which way, uh, when you have the access to the paid version, you'll see here that we have tools and we can go here and click on create an image. And again, I've included this prompt in the description box down below. So check it out. It's really simple. All it is, it says, create me an all white monogram logo of my initials, LN. Make sure the logo has a transparent background because I want to use it in Canva. So we're going to go ahead and hit generate and see what it gives us. Please be fast. Internet, please be fast. Okay. It is generating. And I know what you're probably thinking, Larissa, why didn't you just use Canva AI to generate you a logo? Well, I did. And it, it didn't give me what I was wanting it didn't give me the output that i wanted hence why i reverted to chat gpt to make me a monogram logo uh, let's see it's generating it like so and i'll show you uh, my other uh, project files so you can see the differences here all right so this is what it has given me you can see here when i put my mouse over you can see this checkered grid this does indeed uh, indicate that it is a transparent background so if you're happy with this you can go ahead and download it or you can give some more iterations to get what you would like so when i was practicing this yesterday uh this was my th my prompt here the same one this is what it this is what it gave me very similar to the one we just did right now but then here i asked it to use a more sans serif font because i just wanted it to be really plain and really simple and this is what it gave me and honestly i was pretty happy with that but before we go ahead and uh, download this and use it in canva again you can just hit that button there i'm going to show you the canva ai generation again i use the exact same prompt as i did in chat GPT, as you can see here um, but it was really not giving me what I wanted. It didn't give me the transparent background. So no shade to Canva AI, but it wasn't doing it for me. And I did give it some more instructions to do what I wanted it to do. So as I mentioned, I went back to ChatGPT. At the very end here, it did give me something kind of like that. But again, not a transparent background. But I mean, you could most likely use, let's say... Um, the background remover tool to remove this background but to each your own do what you want to do i just found that chat gpt was just easier so with that all said and out of the way i'm going to go into the home page of canva and you can go ahead and open up any 
canvas here i just have the square instagram post so i'm just gonna go ahead and quickly click on that um, as mentioned we have created an all white logo so i'm going to actually make this a gray background so we can see when i do a little export from my downloads on my other screen here let me just plop it onto here oop wrong one hold on technical difficulties i found it it's this one Bloop. right here so as you see here i just dragged and dropped it onto the canvas it's downloading into my uploads now what i'm going to do is just extend this and what you might notice here ever so faintly is that there is this black line i don't want that so what i'm going to do is make sure i have selected the image here we're going to go up to edit and then as i mentioned we are now going to finesse this we're going to spice it up in canva so i'm going to go into duotone here go into custom and i'm just going to make sure that both the shadows and the highlights are completely uh, white so this is the first one now let's say we wanted in a different design case scenario we wanted an all black emblem or monogram logo so again let's click on the image here go into edit we have duotone already selected on here and i'm just going to drag this black and this is where you can get creative like you can make it different colors if you will if you have a different brand color but i tend to keep my designs and my logos rather simple because i don't want to take away from the the design when i do the marketing material if you know what i mean any which way at this point what i would go ahead and do is download these images as a png like here png with a transparent background just like that um but i'm going to finesse this just just a little bit more just a little bit more so as i mentioned remember exp we got to make sure that we have exp's logo so i'm going to go in here and add another page but i'm going to add a different sized canvas so you saw here that little up arrow we're going to go into more and i'm just going to go in and create a custom size i want something around let's say a thousand pixels by 600 all right create new page now at this point what i'm going to do is just grab this logo here you can just command c it command v it onto this page i'm going to move it just slightly over here then what i'm going to do is put l on my keyboard for a line i'm going to make it vertical 90 degrees like that like so oh trying to make sure that it it remains straight so what i'm doing is i'm holding the shift key on my keyboard and just pulling this little toggle here to extend it and we can go in and make this slightly thicker, like eight, the stroke weight. And I'm going to make it hot and put it right in the so kind of off centered like this because I'm going to put EXP's logo um, on this side here. So I'm going to go into my brand kit, grab EXP logo here and put it like Mm, kind of like that now my understanding is that if you have a personal logo at exp realty you want to make sure that they are pretty much the same size all right you don't want your personal logo to be bigger than exp's logo because then that's not compliant right so that looks pretty dead on center to me gonna just like that okay so now we have the white version and again i'm going to go in and just duplicate this page and then I am going to make this black, a black version. So in this case, I'm just going to replace the white logo with the XP with the black one. And then I'm going to go in here. You can copy this one here again, but I just want to make sure that the placement is exactly the same. So I'm just going to go into Duotone and just change this to black. And here, we're just going to change the white line to the black line now at this point you can go in and just download both all of these pages as a transparent background a png with a transparent background so in this case i'm actually going to go ahead and do do that and then i'm going to show you just another little trick to make your logos just a little bit more beautiful if you will this is what i like to do so at this point we have let me open up my folder here. Where are you, Canva? So I'm just going to go into my uploads here and I'm just going to drag and drop all of the logos that we just exported into here. 
And then I'm just going to go in and add additional pages in between here. So I want two square pages and then I want, actually, let's just do one for now. We're going to do this one. We're going to grab the white one here and we're just going to go in, we're going to replace the background here. And then I'm going to go in and I am going to go to edit. So I made this logo the background image. Then I'm just going to hit edit image and I'm going to go into here, my shadows. Then I'm just going to give it a drop effect. Actually, I lied. I'm going to detach it. I'm going to detach it from the base. I'm sorry. I'm going to extend it. Then we're going to go into edit image. We're going to add that drop shadow. You can play around with the parameters of the shadow. And then at this point, I'm just going to... Uh, size it up like that. So let me take note 126. Okay. So we're going to go into this one here and we are just going to do the same thing. Let's extend this first, and then we're going to go in, add that drop shadow. Then I'm just going to extend this design to 126. So they are perfectly the same size here. Now you can see like it obviously I like adding that shadow. It just makes it a little bit more 3D. It pops off just a little bit. It just takes it just that extra notch. Okay. And now with this, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. We are going to go in and just put this here. Let me zoom in. Extend that. And here's a trick. Let's say you actually change the parameters of the uh, shadow here. Let's say it was a different intensity, maybe it was 45, and you made changes. What you can do to ensure that you have the exact same shadow is I would go back to the previous pages here, click on the emblem, go up to the copy style tool, go into the page where you want to paste that effect. So I'm going to click on the here and you can see that it has applied the same shadow all right then i'm going to just extend this a little bit just so we can make sure that the whole design is uh, perfectly in the center so take note and we're gonna go something like this 619 okay remember 619 okay and then we're gonna do another page here um let's see here i want to try something what if i duplicate this page and I just pull this here. Will it do the same thing? <gasps> it worked. Did y'all see that? Was that too fast? Was that too fast? Okay, let me show you another trick. Another trick. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this page here that we have with the logo here that we already have, the changed size, and the shadow. I'm going to just command D to duplicate this page. Or again, you can hit um, the three dots here to create a duplicate and because i know this is the same exact size and logo if i just click and drag and put it on top it's going to cut to that exact same position and size and add that same shadow boom you're welcome give this video a thumbs up for that trick because it worked all right so at this point what you want to do in this case to make these logos usable i would most likely just go in and download the pages that have the shadow. Alrighty, alrighty. So in this case, just for the sake of it, I am just going to download, let's see, the last four pages. So here's another trick, Canva Heck. Um, you can put your cursor here and I know it's going to be page four to, to eight. And then again, make sure you just click out of here and make sure this is a transparent background, PNG, hit download. Now I'm just going to delete these pages out of my upload section. And now at this point, what we are going to do is program our brand kit with our logos. So you do need to make sure that you have a Canva Pro account in order to have a brand kit, but I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go pro because you'll this this will make your life so much much so much more easier all right so in this case what i'm going to do is make sure i go ahead and open up that zip file on my other screen here and then we're going to go into here just hit edit up here and then you can just hit the plus button or you can just again drag and drop your files your logos into this brand kit here and just give it a second 
to load up. All right. Oh, I have like one too many logos in here. All right. If we needed to delete them, I probably would just delete these two. Delete and delete. Okay. Hit save. Now, at this point, we're going to go into the homepage of Canva once more. And I'm going to show you how I would go about using this, actually. You know, we don't even need to do that because I'm just going to create a new page here. And I'm just going to add a, in this case, I'm going to go social media. And I want the, where are you? I want the 4x5 Instagram post because this is the new portrait size. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, I'm going to go into my brand kit once more, but I'm going to scroll down because this is where I have my brand templates. So this is kind of like a marketing campaign for a real estate listing. So again, I also sell these templates on Ken on Etsy. So if you want to be my bestie, shop my templates on uh, Etsy. Okay, don't be mad at me. This is how I can make free videos on YouTube. So this is my just listed design here. And as you kind of see here, I already have my logos already here, but let's say that wasn't there all right so we're gonna go in here and if oh before i get into all that if you want to learn how to make a brand templates of your own templates i will link uh, that video in the cards above and in the tutorial tutorial in the description box down below i'm talking way too fast i'm so sorry so at this point we have our logos already in here so in this case for this design scenario i'm going to use my white one versus the black one here all righty so we're just going to size this accordingly, make sure it's even like so. And at this point, you just want to go in, drop in a property photo. So it would look something like, like this, da -da, or something like this, All right? And there you go. You have your personal logo and you have EXP's logo. In my opinion, I would keep your logo, your personal logo, just to your initials. I mean, obviously you can go in here and make this even, you can spruce this up with even more elements inside the Canva library if you want to. But honestly, I think the simpler your logo is, the more recognizable it is going to be. And it's just, it, it just makes things easier on you. You don't have to get too fancy with it. That's literally all that. Yenny. And that is it for today's little tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you made it to the very end of this video, then obviously you know what it is, you know what it's do. Yeah, comment down below and crew. So I know you are a real one because seriously, only the real ones make it to the end of the video. And I know because I study my YouTube analytics. But with that said, if you would like to learn how to create Canva brand templates of your own templates to make your design and marketing life that much more easier on canva then i highly encourage you to check out this video right over here and if you're ready get ready to click in three two one